I think that uh, I, w it, I won't be very provocative saying that uh, n nobody uh, today can describe a world that uh, the humanity will be living even in 20, 30 or 50 years. Uh, and it's a great challenge for the uh, educational system because, uh, frankly speaking, it's difficult just uh, to know for what life we're preparing them. So the best uh, way, uh, to my mind, is just uh, to, f uh, to form the uh, educational system in such a way to give our kids, on one hand, basic knowledge that will always be important and always be necessary, uh, moral values, traditional values, on the other, uh, one hand, and on the other hand, uh, to show them uh, what is critical thinking, uh, creativity, just for them uh, to be able to use the, this knowledge uh, in the future world, in the future life, uh, just to be uh, adaptive to the new circumstances and the new technologies and the new world that they'll be living in in the future. The school uh, is a place, one of the most important institutions uh, in the life of, all, uh, of, of the kid, because uh, our kids spend there almost 10 years, 11 years, 9 years, but it's one of the most productive period when they are open to the world and when they are open to the uh, new knowledges. And of course, the school, the school plays uh, one of the most important roles uh, in determination of the future life of our kids. And it's a great, uh, not honor, but it's a challenge, just uh, to give them the necessary knowledge, to educate them, to uh, make them uh, real uh, citizens of uh, our society, responsible citizens. Uh, that's why it's, not, it's important not only to show them the mathematics and the uh, natural sciences, but also to show them the, what is bad and what's wrong and what's good and what's love and what's hate. Uh, and of course the kids understand that and they're engaged in uh, schools. Besides the schools, uh, the school and the teacher uh, is one of the, uh, is losing now the monopoly to the knowledge. But it comes like, you know, like a hub for them, just a place that they're going inside in the morning, uh, they, passed, uh, they pass their part of the daytime, and after the school, the school sends them to some other institution of additional education just uh, where they can continue the education, maybe not in an academical way, but just in playing, making projects, uh, working with uh, tutors, uh, and uh, uh, trying to uh, show their, uh, to describe and show their talents, uh, talents in that on, or other sphere. And all that makes the, what we call the educational ecological system. So uh, the, schools, the school is not only a separate institution. The school is the center of, the, of this ecosystem. That's why the role of the school and especially the role of the teacher will be even increasing, despite the fact that, well, uh, some people think that, well, the new technologies can substitute uh, the teacher. It will never happen because the role of the teacher in the, co in the contemporary world and contemporary education is, will be even increasing. Uh, the educational system is based on three big uh, principles, uh, three big things. Uh, the teacher, uh, the infrastructure, and the content. So uh, uh, the policy makers should uh, work actively on improving all the three frames of the education. Of course, uh, for us, the teacher is the most important among these three. And, it's, uh, and we're speaking about the preparation of new generation of teachers. Uh, given the uh, working teachers' possibility to improve their skills and their knowledges and to share between them the, be the best practices. You know, sometimes we're trying to invent and speak here about new practices, how to teach uh, kids to be creative, but, for example, I'm, I'm sure, and it's always so, that among the two million, for example, Russian teachers, they are really leaders who not only invented such practices, they're introducing them. So it's very important just to, to share this, to give them the possibility to share this experience with other colleagues, for example, in uh, other extreme of the country.